I'll give you an idea of the background. Scotland has, uh... oh my goodness. There we go. It's just another shot from the outside. They really, it doesn't seem like, whether whatever the intent, I mean, it just doesn't seem like it's being effective, but if you just bounce one in from the outside, a la Sam Rawls, we saw it last night during the uh, Iroquois England game. They switched to the white balls when it got darker. There's an outside shot by the pole. What a rip. <laughs> Family. And England really has a head start on that because they've been together for about 18 months playing games, practicing, getting together. And there it pays off with a beautiful finish by Nick Watson. The Delphi product forced them to do it, but that leads to the potential for other things to happen. It's not like if they rotate, it's automatically a problem. It's just it can create some things you can take advantage of. Like that, right on the back door. And Dean Stewart, him on the side, was well over the net. He didn't get the angle he wanted on that bouncer. Uyeki has his man fall down, pops right back up. Great recovery by Tommy Kirkland. And it leads to, it doesn't wind up being a baseline. Dan Smith on him. There's Kirkland, keeps his foot in this time. Smith just shoves his man out, throws his hands up because he knew he played his guy properly and then. Off the crease to make the defense rotate. Now they're in what looks like a 3-3 set with a high crease. As they move this ball around, the crease is very active. Oh, what a skip shot by Zach Guy, the long bouncer. Those can be seen for the offense to get that half step they need. A big check almost up into the head, but he did duck. There's a shot in a goal, and just like that, and you can actually see, I think just before that, I'm pretty sure that Josh Sherry Brennan saw have an injury like that. We'll see. They said it was just muscular, he recovered fine, everything's fine. But when you are coming off an injury, sometimes the longer you go, the more it wears. And in that case, it's our five guys trying to defend this man advantage. As Luke Laskowitz lets it rip and bounces one through Hal Dwobang, who aren't revealing anything if you say yes. We've already talked about it at length. We'll see what they can all adjust to. And this is going to be an adjustment for Scotland to just ripping a high to high. That is shocking. It's all in the name of safety. Here comes England. Will they be able to press it? Not with Patchweski getting back that quickly. My goodness, that was not a case of England not taking a chance. Now they do actually, and they score. That's when Scotland takes away the transition, but before the quarter, England with a three goal lead. Lots of time left, but boy, the longer it goes, the more England starts to feel good. Sidearm rip, there's a bullet right into the back and the fist pump. Goals actually we've seen from the English sticks. Of their nine, would you say seven? I think have been Say at least six or seven. Yeah, have been the, the high bounce. Ball still loose, oh, and Jimmy McBride. That is an almost unbelievable sequence of events. To the head and here's Sweetman going for a run. More of a D-Mitty, but look at those wheels. Can he get a shot? He can, and he scores! That's a beauty! Doesn't go for the high bouncer, he goes for the low skip. How the stall warning goes into effect on England. The point being that it's just hard to find facilities that have enough space to handle 46 teams. What a quick pass, the whistle went before the ball went in. Was that behind us? It's a goal. Flip it though. Pete Hayes pushes Patchweski off to the far side. Laskowitz shoots. Is it in? It is a goal. Play four on four, meaning the four long poles against the four attackmen. It doesn't work out. And Sean Garak carries the ball for about.